<coughs> so uh, actually this talk is a replay. <laughs> I will uh, I will pitch in five minutes what my boss presented at the first conference in June about um, TLP and PIP, just the two of us. So um, actually what are the operational limitations we encountered at NC with TLP? Of course, you have some uncertainties on what can be done with technical or operational information. The main example is IOC. Uh, okay, uh, with TLP Amber, TLP Red, can I do detection, hunting, open source investigation, blocking? Um, so the risks are, are the following. Either the operational information is not used because uh, people are afraid to use it uh, badly, or it is disseminated beyond what was foreseen. Oh, we did not expect it that you use it that way. So <clears throat> to solve that, in the past, we had to implement specific conditions and to explain in detail with our constituents um, in order to share uh, information on a regular basis. And so we worked <laughs> for a more global approach on the marking of our informations. And the conclusion uh, we arrived is that we will now use both markings, TLP, which is dedicated for sharing to for um, the broadcast of the information, and PAP for the use of the information, and to have a clear distinction uh, between both. So for information we received, we of course we speak the, the TLP standards uh, from the first. For information we produce, we have a slightly different uh, approach on TLP Red and TLP Amber, it's, that it's here written, meaning that, of course, for TLP Red, the idea is um, to provide the information for people who need it and uh, who can action this information. And for PAP, uh, so uh, of course, we will use now... <laughs> <laughs> the clear version of uh, both um, TLP and PAP and submit a, a pull request on the MISP taxonomies. Um, the, ide oh, no, sorry. the idea to give you some uh, concrete use cases with PAP Red, the idea is to say, okay, you will only be able to search on logs on a dedicated investigation network with no connection to the internet. We do not, uh, we do not want that the information can be in any way accessed by uh, a potential hacker if your network is compromised. For PAP Amber, okay, you will be able to make some uh, detection on a, on a compromised network, um, or even make, um, some open source, uh, investigation. And for PAP Green, you will be able to have some interactions, non, non-intrusive interaction with possibly the attacker. And for instance, by blocking IP addresses, uh, on a firewall or blocking a URL on a proxy. So, Perhaps the actor will know that it is um, it is detected, but you will uh, prevent um, some further actions. And uh, if you respect uh, laws and um, and licenses with PAP Clear, which is uh, less restrictive. And finally, of course, not all TLP and PAP associations are usable. It would be nonsense to have a TLP red information with PAP clear. So here are, are the eight um, associations we, uh, we keep in mind when we have to mark some information that we want to share with the community. Here is it. Thank you for your attention.